Hi there, this is Alex from Mushrooms Labs and this is the first tutorial for Cure Poly Shape Editor. In order to start working with the Shape Editor, you need to add a Cure Poly to your project by clicking on Create Over Cure Poly, New Cure Poly. And then you need to import one of the possible pre-made shapes uh, for your object. For example, I will start shaping the unwrapped sphere. By default, Curepoly will set the material for your object to the decided normal mat material, which is a particular material which will show you how normals are assigned to each vertex of the final mesh generated by Curepoly. For this tutorial, I decided to work with a different mat, which is this one which will allow you to see that uh, the model is unwrapped uh, and that you can apply textures to it. Now we can start working on our sphere by using the pointing operator that you can find here, which allows you to change the elements of the model, like vertices, edges, or polygons. For example, we can start moving a vertex by clicking on it and using the tool to change its position. When you change the position of a vertex, you will see that the edges assigned to that vertex will change continuously according to the movement. And you can do this more and more times on all the vertices, changing dramatically the final shape of your model and you can undo your changes at any time. Now, with the pointing operator, you can select any vertex or you also can select edges or you can select polygons. In order to change the element you want to be selected, you can change the mode, which is one of the button you can find here, or you can change it directly on the scene view by keeping press the control button. I will start showing you how you can change vertices. So once you have pointed the vertex, you can see the editing normal of the vertex, which is this little green thing here and the handles attached to the vertex one for each of the edges attached to that vertex. And you can change the position or if you prefer, you can change the tool uh, and rotate the vertex affecting the handles or the shape the vertex affecting again the handle in many ways. You can change the vertex position also on the menu on the bottom of the screen and when uh, you are on the menu you can see that uh, the vertex will have a different visual feedback so that you can understand that you are on the menu you can also change the editing normal on the vertex and this will affect again the handles attached to the vertex once you have made some changes you can correct the editing normal by pressing one of these buttons which are used to um, change automatically the position of the normal on one of the most free important direction of uh, the space. You can also use uh, snapping to place uh, the vertex in a correct position using over vertices as a reference. For example, we can put the vertex neck into hole and we, for example, choose to uh, snap on the Y value. So when I move the vertex and the Y come to be closer to one of the over vertices Y, the vertex will be aligned perfectly to that one vertex. Or we can do the same with the X or 
sad. Okay, in this way you see that it's perfectly aligned with this vertex, and now it's perfectly centered. Okay, you can also change the threshold we use to snap objects. So if I increase this to four, and maybe I select Y, you can see it will snap in a more solid way with the, the vertex Y. Instead of snapping to every vertex in the model, you can choose to snap only to some selected vertices. For example, you can do this with selected vertices, but we are going to see selection later in another tutorial. Now, for example, we can choose spatial. In order to snap to spatial vertices, you need to select a vertex, maybe we change its position and mark it as spatial. Its appearance, when not pointed, will change to a sphere. And when I move my vertex at the right position, it will snap to the spatial vertex, but it will not snap to other vertices. And that's all about uh, pointing vertices. Thank you for watching and don't forget to keep in touch with the mushrooms.